Hey guys and welcome back to Battlefront Updates. In this video I wanted to give you my impressions of Darth Maul in Battlefront 2. If you follow the release of Battlefront 2 you've seen a lot of Darth Maul footage both from the pre-alpha and from the beta and he hasn't been changed a lot as far as I can tell so it's one of the heroes that I'm most comfortable with. But the thing that was really interesting to see was Darth Maul in Heroes vs Villains because that was something that we hadn't experienced before. And I think one of the most interesting things about Darth Maul in Heroes vs Villains is that he can't block neither shots or lightsabers like most of the other lightsaber wielders can do. So does that make him worse? Well, not really, because he's so fast and agile that I haven't found that to be a problem, and I often see a Darth Maul on top of the scoreboard. The key with him is simply to use your dodge ability as much as possible to dodge the lightsabers instead of block them. And all three of your abilities are very aggressive, which means that you can deal out a lot more damage than a lot of the other lightsaber wheelers can do, and I think one of my favorite things is using the force choke to try and throw people off the map. This worked particularly well on the Kashyyyk platforms map as there is a lot of places you can throw people off the map there. But you just need to be a little bit careful that you don't use his dash attack on those platforms and fall off the side. That's something I accidentally did a couple of times when I wasn't careful. In Galactic Assault he's pretty straightforward. Jump in and just slash down as much people as you possibly can. It, there's not too much tactics involved compared to heroes versus villains. Just make sure that you don't engage too much people at once or they will shoot you down since you can't block. And once you're finished killing them off, it's pretty easy to escape by using your dash ability to get out of there quickly. And if you see Darth Wall coming towards you when you are the infantry yourself, well, the best thing you can do is trying to roll sideways. That tends to work sometimes, but most of the time you usually die. So in summary, I would say that Darth Maul is a very well-rounded hero. He's neither too overpowered or too weak, and he can also fit in most situations, no matter which game mode you are playing. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, may the Force be with you.